What's up everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Before we start this video, if you are watching my video for the first time, support my channel by hitting that red subscribe button below. Also, today's video target is 150 likes. So if you end up liking this video, give this video a thumbs up. iPhone 12 launch has already happened, but the rumors for the next year's iPhone 13 has already surfaced on the internet. Well, it's too early to say anything about iPhone 13, but some leakers have solid leaks that should be believed. If Apple follows the past pattern of launches, then there are higher chances that iPhone 13 will hit the market in September, and possibly September 24. This year iPhone 12 launched on October 13. iPhone 12 release is delayed because of the coronavirus outbreak, so it's possible that the coronavirus might delay the production of iPhone 13 as well. It's too early to say anything about iPhone 13 release date, but the release is expected to happen in September or October of 2021. According to the analyst Ming Haiku, Apple will again offer 4 iPhone models next year. So we can expect 5.4 inch iPhone 13 mini, a 6.1 inch iPhone 13, a 6.1 inch iPhone 13 Pro, and a 6.7 inch iPhone 13 Pro Max. So these are the 4 rumored models iPhone 13 is about a year away from now, so all the leaks and rumors are gathered from supply chain information, patents, and by different leakers. iPhone 12 came with a flat design, much like the iPhone 4S, or we can say iPhone 5S. So iPhone 13 will also feature the same design. The 2021 iPhone will have a smaller notch. Maybe it could have smaller width overall. Reducing the notch requires the Face ID sensors to be smaller. It's worth noting that Apple experimented with ditching the notch entirely for its 2020 flagships. But that didn't happen, so there are higher chances that Apple might completely dish the notch on iPhone 13. Last fall, Leaker on Twitter explained how the system could work by embedding the True Depth system and earpiece in a smartphone's top bezel. Considering how Apple changed the iPhone design in recent years, the company might introduce a more experimental model in 2021. Imagine if Apple make all its devices completely portless. Well, it's a shocking thought, but Apple might release one of the iPhone 13 models without any port and also USB-C will not be there anymore. A tweet from a leaker John Prosser suggested that there will be one portless iPhone in 2021. So, the company might dish the port entirely and the new iPhones might only feature QI wireless charging as their common charging solution. With iPhone 12, Apple released MagSafe for more convenient wireless charging as well as the power has been raised to 15 watts for faster charging. MagSafe appears to be the solution for charging of portless iPhones. But here is the question, what portless iPhones will offer? Well, portless iPhones will provide better durability and water resistance. Portless iPhones can also make the iPhones thinner, but considering the increase in battery size and energy-eating 5G networks, it's possible that the iPhones of 2021 will be thicker than the ones on sale today. iPhone 12 features same camera design as the 11 Pro, but having an additional LiDAR sensor. The same camera design is said to be on 2021 iPhones. A leaker on Twitter known as Fudge indicated the 2021 iPhone might feature quad camera design with LiDAR sensor. But John Prosser, a reliable leaker, suggested that there's 0% chance for iPhone 13 to have a quad camera setup. The same leak said that 2021 iPhones will feature a 64 megapixel shooter with a wide lens and 1x optical zoom with 6x digital zoom, 40 megapixel telephoto lens with 3x to 5x optical zoom, 40 megapixel ultra wide with 0.25x optical reverse zoom, and a 40 mm and a morphic lens sporting a 2.1 by 1 ratio. The jump in megapixel is really unusual for Apple, since Apple avoids changing the camera megapixel unless it is absolutely necessary. The most possible change that could happen to the 2021 iPhones will be better zoom, better sensor size, and more powerful LiDAR sensor. Ming Haiku has not released any information about the 2021 iPhone camera system, but he said that the 2022 iPhones will have a periscope camera. The 2021 iPhone will feature ProMotion display to enhance viewing content, but Apple might use the LTPO technology to keep the battery life in control. This rumor came from supply chain consultant and might not be entirely solid. It is claimed that Apple will use 120Hz display in Pro models, but to prevent the battery drain, Apple have to use LTPO technology. This is the same technology that Apple used on their smartwatches to remain always on display by slowing the screen to as little as 1Hz. iPad Pro featured 
120 hz display but does not use LTPO technology so we can't entirely believe on this rumor John Prosser said that the iPhone 12 might have received this technology but on the way last second Apple decided to cut it because of battery life issues the iPhone 12 lineup has 5G connectivity and MM wave bands Apple said MM wave is only available in US on the iPhone but that could change in future models documentation of Apple settlement with Qualcomm reveals that Apple is planning to use Qualcomm X60 5G modem in the upcoming iPhones, that iPhone might be the iPhone 13. The 5 nanometer X60 modem can directly integrate into a phone's chipset, meaning a smaller footprint and a lower battery drain. Also, the 5G performance should be better as the modem can combine MM wave and sub 6 GHz 5G networks. As 5G becomes available everywhere, Apple wants people who travel to have access to same speed people use at home. 5G in ideal conditions can offer up to 3.5 GB per second download speed. The fingerprint sensor was replaced with Face ID. In iPhone 10, since the arrival of iPhone 10, it has been rumored that Apple might use some kind of fingerprint scanner by placing it under the display or maybe in a power button. The rumors pointing that both kind of fingerprint being used in the upcoming iPhones of 2021. Apple embedded the Touch ID in top power button in iPad Pro. Some rumors suggest that Apple might do the same in upcoming iPhones. As iPhones can't recognize people in face mask, we expect Apple to think about the Touch ID and also how to bring the Touch ID in a minimal way. Having Face ID and Touch ID in a same smartphone can make the security more tighter and also this will allow users to unlock their iPhones easily. In particular, the iPhone 13 is expected to have some design changes, better security options and improved camera. These are all the leaks for now but we are about a year away from iphone 13 release so it's too early to say anything about the upcoming apple flagships that's all for now thanks a lot for watching guys my name is hamza this is the tech filter and i'll catch you in the next one